The bill covers everything from tear gas to chokeholds and military equipment. Law enforcement agencies get the equipment from the federal government. The bill would force them to change how they police our community. New at 5, Caitlin Knapp has been following this bill closely. She's live in studio with us on how this would affect our community. Well, earlier this month, I brought you the inventory of what military equipment is in the Spokane community and what would be taken away if the bill passes. Well, since the story, some of that has changed. The bill would have banned silencers, but that was taken out, as well as grenade launchers. What remained in the bill is this, mine-resistant ambush vehicles, or MRAPs, which the Spokane County Sheriff's Office has in its arsenal. To give you a little bit of a background, law enforcement agencies get excess military equipment from a federal surplus program. Everything from guns, armored vehicles, to medical kits and exercise equipment. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office has more than a thousand items from the program, like the MRAP. In a previous interview with Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich, he told me this equipment is used, is used to protect you and de-escalate situations. Activists, on the other hand, believe it does the opposite. You take it away, the more less lethal stuff you take away, the more lethal actions happen. The fact of the matter is, de-escalate. De-escalate instead of escalating. Of course, when a tank shows up, of course, that's, that's intimidating. Military equipment is just one small piece of this bill. Officers would be able to use tear gas only during a riot if someone is barricaded or during a hostage situation. However, all other alternatives have to be used first. Also, chokeholds or neck restraints would be banned. Officers would have restrictions during police chases, and a training commission would form a policy for training and using canines. Now, this bill will be introduced to the Senate, currently controlled by Democrats. It still has a long way to go. We'll be sure to bring the latest as the bill heads through the Washington legislature. Live in studio, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Now.